This is video 18.3. We will be solving a problem with a polygonal electronic potential. The question. Eight 5 nanocoulomb charges are placed at the vertices of a regular octagon as shown below. The distance from the center to a vertex is 35 centimeters. We'd like to know what is the electronic potential at the center? What is the electric field at the center? And how do these quantities change if you remove the bottom charge? Step 1 will be to find the potential due to a single charge. The formula for electronic potential is K, which is Coulomb's constant, times Q over R, the distance from the charge to the location at which you are measuring the potential. We plug in the known values. Coulomb's constant is 9 times 10 to the 9. The charge is 5 nanocoulombs, where nano is 10 to the negative 9. And the distance, which is 35 centimeters or 0.35 meters. This gives us a value of 128.6 volts. Step 2 is to find the potential due to all charges. This is simply 8 times the potential due to one charge, because they're all positive quantities, and they add at the center to give a total potential of 1029 volts. Now we'll find the electric field at the center. Consider the diagram below. The convention for field lines is to draw a field line with an arrow pointing away from a positive charge. So each one of these charges has an electric field pointing towards the center of the octagon. Each one of these charges has an electric field with the same magnitude at the center of the octagon because they have the same charge and they're at the same distance. However, they're pointing in opposite directions at the center of the octagon. Consider the pair of charges that is the top and the bottom, same magnitude, opposite direction, so they cancel. The same is true for each of the other three pairs. We have, therefore, that by symmetry, the electric field is equal to zero at the center. Now let's remove the bottom charge to see how things change. We'll calculate the new electric potential first. This will just be 7 times the potential due to one charge because we had 8 positive numbers adding together at the center. We remove 1, so now it's just 7 and the new electric potential is 900 volts. Step 5 will be to calculate the new electric field. Now notice that three of the pairs of charges still cancel each other out. But the top and the bottom pair no longer cancel each other out because the bottom charge has been removed. So therefore, the only charge which contributes to a net electric field at the center will be the top charge. And it's pointing straight downward. In fact, the coordinates of this vector are 0, comma, negative 0 0.35 because it's 35 centimeters and it's downward. This is the formula for the electric field and we can plug in the known values. Simplifying, we have the electric field in component form. You could also specify the electric field in terms of a magnitude and a direction by saying that it's 367 volts per meter pointed straight down or at negative 90 degrees. 
And that concludes video 18.3. Check out PhysicsX on the app stores. This revolutionary physics app for smartphones and tablets contains over 100 videos and 500 multiple choice questions designed by education experts. It's been proven to improve scores for intro college physics, AP physics, MCAT physics, and more. Just look for the blue icon.